Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to our channel and this is me Shilpa and today's video is something really special. I got like a lot of comments in my previous videos to talk about my PCOS or like hormonal imbalance kind of story. So without any further delay, let's get started. But before that, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, make sure to subscribe to more such videos and get updated on the new vlogs and all those things. So without any further delay, let's get started. So uh, this entire topic I had already discussed in a Malayalam video before. But right now I got like a lot of uh, comments to make this video on English. So I'm making it because I think that this is really required. So let me start about with how I started and how it was like uh, properly diagnosed that this was happening. So when I was in school back in like 2016-15 time, I used to get a lot of acne issues. I used to get a lot of hair fall problems and even I used to get like facial hairs but which was not considered just because that I was a person who had a lot of hair on my body. So the only concern which I had was the acne on my skin and it was too much. So I had the syrup called Safi and all which was like trending at that time. The two did help me but after a point, uh, after stopping and all, it again came back. And I had a lot of like medicines, I did chemical peeling and all those things. Uh, no one couldn't actually found what was happening. But I had a talk with my friend back in like 10th standard or 11th standard. So she was diagnosed with the same. So I was having a doubt because I could like uh, properly sort out what was happening because my periods was not in the right time. My acne was like in the peak, my hair fall, everything was like aligning with whatever the symptoms which they were also having. So I was like, okay, let me consult another doctor as well. So we did, uh, we went to this doctor and he asked us to get an ultrasound or something. So we went that, we got it and was diagnosed to be PCOS so basically I've read that PCOS and PCOD is a bit different PCOS is something which the testosterone that is the male hormone will be higher in our body something related to that I'm not the right person to take all these things or not please don't take it but uh, do consult a professional if you find any of the symptoms so basic symptoms might include like excessive hair growth acne, hair fall, dandruff, excess weight gain or excess weight loss and all those things and even especially the irregular period cycle. So that was the main concern which most of the people I've asked had and have. So yeah, then uh, the things which I stopped and how I cured like a lot of it. So after diagnosing and all those things, they gave us a lot of medicines and all of these things. But I said, no, wait, I don't want it. And what happened was, I said no to all these allopathic medicines because my friend who already had it before told that please don't take it because if you stop it then it will come back again and even allopathic doctors always say that it won't be cured just because it's a, it's a lifestyle uh, kind of disorder I mean a problem it doesn't mean that it can't be cured so yes I did take that in mind I went for this Ayurvedic kind of treatment when I uh, passed out from my 12th standard but after that I was always traveling always having food from outside all those things were happening again this changed my acne again came up and all those things were there still I was struggling with all those things I couldn't properly sort out what was happening I started uh, checking on this YouTube which you are also doing you are seeing this video now so if you are if you watch this video till this point make sure to give it a like because I am going to talk about some real serious things which you few implement properly it will help you a lot so coming into the point so uh, I actually uh, completed my entrance and all those things but I was al always having from outside I was a person who always had some or the other kind of craving always have burger chocolate some or the other thing so that all messed up with my hormonal imbalance kind of situation going on so uh, after a point I consulted with this Ayurvedic doctor so she asked me to stop milk sugar all those things but again I didn't know why it should be I didn't do that but again I went to this YouTube video and all those people who had it and have it and like cured all those things. So everyone was saying stop dairy, stop sugar. That was the main thing every every single one was telling. So I thought okay let me give it a try and it was 
tad difficult for me because i am a person who always have a lot of milk in my coffee tea sugar everything okay i always love sugary stuff so yeah it was a bit hard for me but still i tried stopping it but i didn't entirely stop sugar so basically after moving into my hostel and all i couldn't like stop stop sugar i still had a milk made uh, dough powder and right? what's up and it was also not working properly and wherever i go i'll have some tea or the other thing and whenever i have a period uh, near to that time i'll get my acne over over again so i tried a lot of medications i tried this and that and all those things outside but after a point i decided let me try it so what i did was like i substituted jaggery and all this happened when the lockdown was happening okay so the lockdown time the best thing what happened was that we we could try everything at home and right now i don't have any makeup or anything on my face this is my skin but i do have the in grown hair ka issue but baki acne and all are almost gone acne i don't have a lot just the marks i have but the hair growth ka marks are there a lot so i'm planning to get a laser but right now it's not that for me but uh, listen uh, so what happened was that uh, the lockdown ke time mein i started using jaggery a lot after which i substituted with stevia which i bought from amazon then i started using this uh, vegan uh, milk powder which was made from like soy milk soy powder you can also use almond milk or soy milk which is not vegan so basically the concept is stopping the diary entirely but i didn't stop curd a lot but curd is something which really good right so that one i didn't completely stop but i did stop not too much because i used to have it on a daily basis then i cut it off and i have it like here and there and i started working out it's not like the proper workout gym wali workout no i just will do like once in a week or twice in a week i'll just do something because i was a person who always dances for till the age of 16 then i entirely stopped it even today i can't do that just because that i don't i don't have time for going like for a proper class or anything but if i get time i do that but the only basic thing is that having that lifestyle wali changes next thing is that i am not a person who always drink like carbonated water which was a good thing for me so that i didn't want to like entirely cut it out what you want to do is in your diet and all those things cut out junk cut out milk cut out sugar all those things and see what is working for you and sometimes use that and see what is happening for you so basically we want to find what is the one thing which is triggering our hormonal imbalance kind of situation and also you can download this app like flow or anything to track your period so that you can understand that what is uh, making it delayed or if it is coming like uh, twice or thrice in a month you can track the entire thing and see what is working and not working for you so that you will get a good hang of it and make sure to cut out and all those things i know my friends whoever has this and all they still don't cut out anything and still they have a lot of problems still they go to doctors have medicines and this medicines are like shit if you stop it it will come back again so that is the only thing which you want to take care of. and stress is another thing don't stress on everything i know it's not that easy i can say that even i am saying that only but still i uh, today also i don't like entirely cut out things i have uh, chocolates or anything in rarely in between but not every day i am using stevia instead of sugar which doesn't mean that i don't drink milk or anything i do milk i do have milk or something or the other here and there but it's not like a constant thing which you should be taken care of and also drinking water is also another element and the most important factor is it's not about applying a lot and lot of what to say uh, skin care products or anything you have to you have to but it's not it it won't cure whatever is inside whatever is inside the problem should be cured from inside just with the things which you are having you can add salad or whatever expensive stuff if you can afford use it it's not about expensive stuff if you can afford like healthy snacks options uh, baked chips or like uh, air fried or something whatever you can afford no you just get it and have it you will get even the sugar free uh, chocolate and even i can suggest you some products i'll uh, link down below all my favorite healthy snacks options down below which is like kind of affordable which you can munch on even if you are like a uh, person who always have cravings like me you can always have that but make sure that you take slight small steps to make sure that it is having a good balance so currently within my case the only thing which i face a lot is just that the hair growth on my face so basically i am as i as i told you 
I am a person who have a lot of hair growth on my body as well. So this thing and here, this is the only thing which I am properly concerned about right now, which I want to get a laser done. And the laser uh, things are like in Bangalore also. I inquired with certain places. They have like ten thousand ka package for like five sessions and all. That is pretty good compared to many other places because. That costs around like three thousand in one place, four thousand in one place for one session. But here it is for like two thousand for one session. But I feel that it is okay, kind of. And even there is things like skinzy and all. But the only problem is you want to do it consistently and all those things. Uh, the next thing which people ask me is that how I uh, remove the hair. I either pluck it, but my doctor has strictly told me not to pluck. But uh, I always have this thing with me. Uh, just because that certain times you now the hair are really thick and I can't keep it there. But if you if you are not if you haven't started removing it, you now just use a razor. Don't use plucker. In don hair ka problem, you will get it. So that's the only concern I have right now. In even my hair ka problems, I am taking a treatment online, which I will be updating you guys what is the progress and all those things. But this is the only thing which I face. And even my tummy ka issue, I felt like going for gym still. Due to other issues, I am not able to go. It's not about health issues and all time and all those things. So yeah, that's the only thing. So if you have a PCOS or PCOD or whatever, it is just a lifestyle kind of thing going on. Make sure that you just tweak things around. But right now, I can tell you this thing that my period and all those things are like proper, crisp and proper. Like if if it have to be come on twentieth, it will either come on twentieth or twenty first or even nineteenth. it don't go beyond that it is properly cut and straight so just by changing all the small small things you can do a lot of changes within yourself and i know most of the things are not affordable affordable you can go for alternate if you can't if you can't cut sugar and take something else you can obviously go for jaggery because jaggery is much more affordable option than like a stevia or anything but if you can afford a stevia go for it because if you travel and all it, many people have told me coffee is not a good thing but i do use it uh yeah so that's all about today's video make sure that you do the things properly it's not about you have to cut the skin care routine or anything but make sure to treat everything from inside if you have any kind of queries or anything please do let me know i am not a person from medical background but whatever i know i'll be sharing and i have shared it and i'll be linking down all the useful links which you can get right now below so make sure to share this with your friends and family whoever is facing such kind of an issue and i hope it will help a lot of people so thanks for watching and bye bye take care